Treatment for rare diseases like sickle cell disease can be expensive for people with this condition and their families, even though significant jumps in research have been made. Traveling to and from hospitals to get treatment may also place a financial burden on patients. This new CRISPR clinical trial may be similarly inaccessible if made available to the public in the future. While CRISPR and other therapies for sickle cell disease are costly right now, Walters hopes that ongoing research will make CRISPR gene correcting therapies more affordable. Right now we do that correction of the cells outside the body, but there are new technologies that might allow us to deliver those same tools through an injection into the bloodstream, he says. Then those tools would find the blood-producing cells in the bone marrow where they normally reside, make the correction, and then those stem cells would then begin to produce healthy red blood cells.